If you wish to return your iPad back to factory default, you will first need to locate and click on Settings. Next, within Settings, you need to click on the General option. Now, from within the General pane, you need to scroll down and locate Reset. When you click on Reset, you're presented with six options. The first option is Reset All Settings. This option resets all settings but leaves any data or media that you might have on your iPad. The next option is to erase the iPad. This will remove all data and media from the iPad as well as reset the settings of the iPad. The third option is to reset the network settings of the iPad. You might use this if you're having problems connecting the iPad to a wireless access point. The fourth option allows you to reset the keyboard dictionary. If you choose this option, you will delete any custom words that you've added to the iPad's dictionary. The fifth option allows you to reset the home screen, while the final option allows you to reset the location warnings back to factory default. To fully return an iPad back to factory default, we need to choose the option Arrays All Content and Settings. When we're prompted, we need to choose the Arrays option. We're now asked to confirm that we wish to erase all content from the iPad. This includes media, data and the settings for the iPad. When we choose Arrays for a second time, the iPad will go blank for a second and then it will start to remove the data and media files from the iPad. It will also then reset the iPad back to factory defaults. The size of the iPad's memory will determine how long it takes for the iPad to completely wipe and reset. Once the iPad has finished resetting itself back to factory defaults, you will simply be presented with the word iPad.